Radio Engineering Graphics and Design Learners. This is it. How to hack your pet only on how to EGD. In this episode, I'll be talking to grade 12 engineering graphics and design students who chosen the civil pet for the practical assessment task. And I'm going to detail the pace setter and how to actually approach this task, the tremendous task of completing your pet. First of all, it's very important to remember that your pet for this year forms part of your formal final assessment for grade 12 and it's actually just as important as your November paper 1 and 2 paper. So please take the necessary effort and time to do this successfully. Of course, I'm not able to in detail show you all elements of this pet and even do it for you. That's going to be up to you to really put in the necessary effort. But this series, the How to Hack Your Pet series, only on How to EGD, will take you through step by step all the requirements and it will help you and your friends to absolutely nail this task ahead of you. All right, for more EGD support and step by step tutorials, please visit How to EGD only on YouTube. Um, and then let's get on straight into this space setter that I've set up for my own learners and for you to make use of. Now, the Department of Education has come up with this practical assessment task and it's given us a kind of a management plan that starts right here in February. We've already launched it and it's going to go all the way through March and end on the 4th of August. By that date, all of this work needs to be completed. I've taken the PAD document, which all of you would have received by now. There's a description uh, download in the description for you to check this out. And I've taken then in this document the formal checklist. This is your checklist that's going to help you meet all the different requirements in each topic. Let's say, for instance, design brief. They've clearly highlighted all the requirements in the design brief, the research. And what I've done is I've paired this up with the due dates and this space setter to help you keep up. So let me take you through how this works. The first component in your phase one is the design brief. Now the design brief constitutes of five points in this checklist, one to one to 1.5. So going to the checklist, you can actually have a look and see, okay, 1.1 is my first paragraph, background and comprehensive description of what is to be designed. 1.2 is my role within this process. 1.3 is the list of specifications, 1.5, your 1.4, your possible constraints, and number five is the management plan. So this then tells you what is the exact things that I need to do for the design brief by the 10th of March. It also specifies for you how many pages of work this is required. So in my case, I'm encouraging my learners to do two A3 pages. Of course, this is a guide. Your teacher might be able to direct you differently. Some prefer A4. I go for A3 pages. Then the research, 2.1 to 2.3. So again, on this checklist, it's detailed what is the requirements for 2.1, 2.3. And in future videos, of course, I'll go in depth. But for now, I'm just trying to explain to you this space setter. So basically, by the end of the first term, you will have to finish your freehand concept, select your best solution, and then when we come back in term two, it is the preparation of the drawing sheets, the floor plan, two elevations, detailed sections, detailed site plan, and the two-point perspective. And again, this refers to the points within the checklist that's going to help you know exactly what is the requirements here. And then right at the end, there is a continuous self-evaluation that needs to be indicated by you. The front cover, the index, the summative assessment sheets must be completed. You have to sign the declaration. Your entire document needs to be in the correct order. Name and numbering on every page and your final presentation and submission must be by the 4th of August. Now, your own teacher will put certain checks in here. And remember, um, this is expected to be at the high standard of grade 12. So it's not something that you can rush over a long weekend and think you're going to successfully do this. Your teacher will direct you. A lot of this will happen in your actual classroom. Okay, how to EGD is here to take you through it and give you the necessary support, but you will have to do the good work, the great work in making sure this is done effectively. Right on. Next video is going to talk you through the design brief and all of those requirements. Now it's your turn.